you know, they did a good job of spreading the ball around and we'll make a lot of adjustments to be ready to go this week. The Black Shirts allowed 497 yards to Arkansas State in their season opener, running their base set almost exclusively. So not much of Diaco's defense is on film at Nebraska. For us, we were just trying to do, you know, do whatever we could to win a game. You know, you don't want to get stuck in a position where you're not calling stuff to, you know, and you end up losing a game. I mean, for us, it just came down to a, you know, a couple little things, making adjustments and, and making plays. And Oregon knows how to do just that. The Huskers take on a Ducks team this weekend that scored 77 points over FCS School Southern Utah in their season opener. We're going into a, a, a tough game with a you know a, a team that's going to challenge us in a lot of ways. But I got all, all tons of confidence in our coaching staff and our. Uh, in our defense to, to be able to make adjustments and, and have a good week this week. Weber says there's plenty of room for improvement from week one to week two on the defense, but that teammate Luke Gifford really jumped out on film. Gifford led the team in tackles against Arkansas State, and Weber says he's pulling for his teammates since they have similar journeys to the starting lineup. You know, we both feel the same way about that. We grew up here. We, we love this place. We actually get, you know, we're rooming together on the road this year, so it's it's been fun to build that relationship with him and, and to see him do well on, on the field. Gifford was joined by five other teammates making their first career starts as Huskers on Saturday, and Weber expects Nebraska to be less anxious this weekend. To know what it's like to play under the lights at Memorial Stadium and to uh, to have that feeling out of the way, it's, it's invaluable because now, you know, you just you build upon it, you stack on it, and you get better from there.